Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a quick tip. All right, I haven't done one of these in a while, and this one is probably not an analog uh, do or don't do kind of quick tip. I'm gonna chuck it out there because it's sort of a new development. And to be honest, it's just something to be aware of. And I, I'm not sure you could always know exactly when to use this information, but we'll, it'll make more sense when we get there. Let me set the stage. I'm hauling butt around in my T23 E3, which is a relatively fast tank, not particularly paying attention to where I'm going, trying to get my gun back into the game. This is looking like a fairly even game right now, but we do have them stuck into one corner. So provided we can keep one flank or the other from getting obliterated, we're about to put the squeeze on these guys, and there's a lot of crossfire opportunities about to get in here, and that's why I want to get this fast little tank in there, right? So I'm trying to get into the north part of the map over here, not particularly paying attention to where I'm driving, and I want to get in and get my damage, all right? So that is the scene. Here we go. Here comes the fast T23 E3. Guido's looking at the map, looking at the mini-map. How are we going to handle this thing? And we go, uh, oh, pooper nickels. <laughs> Son of a gun. All right, so in the past, before a relatively recent development, you were stuck there until somebody knocked you back over or you died or the game was over. You, you weren't getting out of that situation whether you were turtled or on your side. On your side, you weren't going to blow up. If you were upside down, you had a timer and you would explode. So there was a lot of complaints about that. One of the best ideas was to allow you to use your repair kit to knock yourself back over and off you go. And I thought that was a fantastic idea, but that's not where, what we got. The second one would be leave it as it is because it's kind of an interesting at times tactical situation to deal with. I have seen more than one David versus Goliath go the way of David because the Goliath tipped himself over and the little guy was able to win. Well, that's not really happening anymore and they did not go with the repair kit idea or another piece of equipment that would do it separately. What they went with is a timer. Interesting. Okay, so there's a timer. About 15 seconds as we're going to see. Let's go ahead and get this going. There we go. So the timer comes up back on track in 15 seconds. Hmm. All right. In the past, somebody else had to knock you down. That's what most people know, right? Well, here's the, the rub about the 15 seconds, fellas. Here's the rub. And I'm going to let you just... Some of you know this already, but this is the tip piece of it. I am going to be on my tracks in 10 seconds. 9, 8. Okay, no, no, no. No, 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. That's where we get to the, I'm not 100% sure what you do with this information. I think, I really think what you do with it is you just leave people alone. Unless you absolutely know that your speed and capability to knock them over is going to immediately get them on their feet or they're upside down but i don't think you blow up upside down anymore guys because it's 15 seconds and you're back on your feet right does it does the counter even matter anymore i don't think so i believe what you do with this information is you let them be there's probably a couple edge cases where you might try to get them on their feet quicker maybe you need them to fight potentially or you're so big you know you're going to knock them over that or so fast whatever the case may be Otherwise, you got to leave him alone because he just reset me, fellas. You saw it. I was seconds away from being on my feet. Now I'm back to 15 seconds. <laughs> and I think maybe there's a lot of people who don't really, either they didn't think about it or they don't, look at this, this is fantastic, or they don't understand it. Do, do, no, no, no. <laughs> and I'm, I'm down in the chat. Dude, you just reset me and you just... No, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So, in Ironworks 2018's defense, jets going by F-35. No, probably a 16. Not loud enough. All right. Thank you, Fire Ironworks 2018. And I don't know if that's anonymous. Whoever you are, I, I appreciate the thought and the attempt at helping. But with the new system. I think you probably 99% of the time, fellas, just let them sit there unless they're, well, they don't blow up upside down. So really just let them sit there. They're going to flip over. It's not a problem. 
There could be an edge case where you might want to try to get them on their feet quickly. I appreciate the effort, but you did the exact opposite <laughs> of what I needed. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. All right, so he does it twice. It's three times. I'm resetting it. There we go. Okay, good. He, he got her done, and I'm back on my feet. <laughs> so your quick tip of the day is the turtle slash on your side mechanics have changed. It's probably the majority of the time, it's probably best to let them be. They will flip over in 15 seconds or so, no problem. Uh, if you fail to flip them over, you have just reset their counter more than likely, which is kind of stupid actually now that I think about it. But anyway, there you go. Uh, quick tip of the day. Let me know what you guys think down below. What do you do in these cases anymore? There's probably a lot of people who don't even know that that mechanic's there. Most, most, a lot of people play the game don't pay attention to any of that kind of stuff. And more than likely for years, this fine individual has been attempting to help get his buddies. Thank you very much. But at this point, it is now not helping them. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I've got. See ya.